This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. What we are going to talk about today is open-ended problem solving. An open-ended problem is a problem that doesn't have one solution, but could have one of many solutions. To make, the, uh, the, 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 to make you understand the, the situation a little bit better, a closed problem would be one that has a definite solution. So something like 2 plus 2 has got uh, an obvious answer, 4. With an open-ended problem, this could be uh, why does my car not start? There could be many, many solutions to this problem. So we need a way of tackling these types of problems. Most problems actually are open-ended that we come across in everyday life. They don't have simple uh, mathematical solutions. So this is uh, an interesting way of opening discussions to give students a chance to take part, to express their ideas, uh, but to come up with a solution to these types of problems. The a general uh, lesson may be to a set uh, procedure um, with definite outcomes, um, uh, not giving the student a chance to actually contribute or to think, but mainly just to take notes or just to record uh, factual details. With an open-ended um, problem, we, we give the students a chance to take part because there isn't only one solution, there are many. And so the student can actually uh, be given a chance to express his ideas, to actually contribute, to actually be part of the discussion. So it involves critical thinking. It involves um, the student that just, just thinking of it, bringing his own experiences to the, to the actual problem to actually be in a situation with other students so that he can learn, they can learn from each other and, and, and be part of this learning, more part of this learning than would take place with a normal uh, uh, lesson with a fixed solution. Well, we would start off uh, with a, an open-ended problem by um, thinking, just, just generally um, putting ideas forward. We call this brainstorming. And in a brainstorming session, everyone, uh, part of the, the, the discussion group, contributes. Uh, and it doesn't matter how wild or how ridiculous the, the answer may seem at, the, at that time, we, we, we do not, we, we take, it, take it as part of. It may be useful later. So we're getting the students uh, to, to think to use their experiences and to, to actually take part. And maybe there will be some part of brainstorming, there will be some uh, um, ideas which are quite silly. But from this, better ideas will be generated uh, and the students will, will learn from another student and thinks, oh, that's a good idea. And maybe possibly this and, and comes up with another um, uh, uh, solution. The, by this, this uh, contributing uh, technique, then we're more likely to get to uh, the real uh, solutions to the problem. So brainstorming is a, 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 a very important method of encouraging students to take part. Once we ha have a, a list of ideas, some of these ideas will be um, maybe not particularly useful. Some of the ideas will be very positive and, and probably ideas that we can use. Sorting through the list of ideas we call normalizing. So we need a way of rating these, these ideas. So for instance, if I could give you an example, if we were talking about why does my car not start, then a possible reason may be I've got the wrong key. Um, this is a very minor uh, thing and very easy to, to, to solve. Um, but it, it, the chances of, why, uh, of, of it being a solution to why my car won't start could be a very minor contributor. So I might give this a very low rating. If I was using 
a rating of 1 to 5, then I might say uh, chances are just 1 in 5 that it may be the wrong key. Um, so if it was, if we looked at our list and we found uh, the battery was flat, now this would be a high possibility of why my car won't start. So on a rating of 1 to 5, I would give that a very high rating of 5. If um, a student put uh, forward the suggestion that uh, the, the, the tyres were flat, we have to accept this as part of brainstorming, but it may be something that we would say that the car would still start even though the tyres were flat. So we may discount this, we, 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 would, we would cross this out. So this is all part of normalizing, where we're looking at all the contributions from all the students and giving them a rating, um, which is to our own scale, uh, I suggest a scale of, of one to five, because as human beings we find this as the simplest rating scale. Um, if you look at uh, people doing a survey, say you're in a hotel, then they may say, we would like you to rate the quality of the service. Uh, and they would give you maybe four, a maximum of five choices. Poor service, good service, very good service, excellent service, four. Students, when, when, when you, you hand work in, um, you want that to be rated. We, we, you want to know the standard of which uh, your work, uh, uh, the standard that your work achieved. So we give you a four-point scale: A, B, C, D, um, and you. Th this gives you an indication of how well you you, you did. So normalising is is just a process of. Uh, um, putting our ideas into some sort of order of priority. Students um, want to know why they are doing things. What, what is the reason? What, why should I take these notes? Uh, when I've taken them, what good is it, is it to me? This uh, technique presents general solutions that every student will come across. So. We all have a, a, a situation where the car won't start. Or we may be in a discussion about pollution. It, this method gives us a, a technique of bringing our ideas and sharing ideas and to introduce critical thinking, to uh, uh, use our brains to make us realize that we can all contribute to solutions to solving problems and not just the teacher giving us a set formula to produce a single answer. So we can get enjoyment, we can get interaction, teamwork, we can use, uh, if we have a lot of uh, students, we can split them up into groups so that they can provide different uh, 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 solutions to the problem and then they can come forward and show the way they went about it. Each group then, which are taking part in this lesson, are contributing and learning from each other. So it should present a very enjoyable, uh, student-centered learning technique. This is the uh, idea of open-ended problem solving. Not one solution, many solutions, and we all contribute.